I am Abdul Kari, degree engineer from BS Chemistry 2H1, and my report is in Chapter 4, the first homecoming and the second travel abroad in Hong Kong and in Japan. Results for his homecoming Rizal's plan of coming back home. As early as 1884, Rizal wanted to go back to his native land, which is the Philippines, for the following reasons. Financial difficulties in Calamba, dissatisfaction with his studies in Madrid, and desire to prove that there is no fear going back home, and his belief that the Spanish regime will not punish the innocent. Ferris Homecoming Rizal was warned by his friends not to go back to the Philippines because of his novel. His novel actually angered the friars and his friends know that. But the result is determined to go back to the Philippines because of the following reasons. First is to operate his mother's eye, which is his which is the reason why he studied in Madrid, and to serve his people who had been oppressed by the Spanish tyrants and to find out how his writings affects the Filipino Spaniards. And lastly, Leonor Rivera, which is his lover in the Philippines. In 1887, on July 3, he boarded the steamer Gymna from a French port. He boarded the steamer and it sailed to the east through the Swiss Canal and reached Saigon on 30th of July. And after that, he took another steamer, which is the Haipong, to reach the Manila rather, on August 5. After meeting his friends in Manila, he decided to come back to Calamba on August 18, 1887. He treated then his mother's eyes, and because of that, uh, he made a lot of money because a lot of people from different places flocked to him for a better vision. His mother actually, his mother which is Teo, uh, Doña Teodora, was his first patient. And there was a rumor that he is a German spy and he was dubbed as a, dubbed as a Dr. Oliman or the German doctor. Oliman, Oliman is from the word Aliman which means German. While he was in Calamba, he painted some several beautiful landscapes and translated some German poems and built gymnasium for younger people. And he also introduced some European sports such as fencing and shooting to discourage the people from the cockfighting and gambling. His novel, The Nolly, was a lake containing subversive ideas. Results was then requested by the Governor General Emilio Terrero to explain his novel. Um, Result then explained to the General, Governor General rather, that Nolly exposed the truth but did not advocate submissive ideas, subversive ideas rather. And the Governor General was placed by his placed by his uh, explanation and asked for a copy of the novel. The governor general then assigned a bodyguard to Sarisol, which is Don Seta Vialdi Andrade to protect him from his enemies because the governor general knew that there is some enemies enemies rather that surrounds Sarisol that are plotting some uh plotting his tomb and the Noli actually have some defenders and attackers the defenders are some friends of Rizal which is Marcelo H. del Pilar Gra Graciano Graciano Lopez Antonio Maria Rigador Mariano Ponce Father Francisco de Paulo Sanchez Don Sigis Mundo Moret, Professor Miguel Moraita, Professor Ferdinand Blumentritt, and Father Vicente Garcia. Some of them actually was met by Rizal abroad. And of course, the attackers are of his novel or Archbishop Pedro Pio, which is the which is the one who sent a copy to the 
University of Santo Mas to examine his novel. Uh, he was actually the Archbishop of Manila, Manila and he is a Dominican. Vicente Barantes is one of those who criticized the novel of Rizal. And according to the findings and reports of the University of Santo Tomas, the novel actually contains anti-patriotic and scandalous and subversive ideas that is against to the church and the Spanish. So Rizal visited the Jesuits. He visited his father, fathers to ask for their feedbacks on the novel. He was gladly welcomed by Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez and Father Jose Beck and Father Federico Fara. After reading the novel, Father Federico Fara warned him that he might lose his head because of his novel because it contains some truth. On December 1887, the Columba Fox asked Rizal's assistance in collecting information as regards to the Dominican Hacienda management. A Rizal, of course, agreed with that and he objectively reported uh, that the Dominican order had arbitrarily increased the land of rents and charged tenants non-existent agricultural services. The friar Suarez engaged of results report and he pressured the governor general to advise Rizal to leave the country. And that was the cause of Rizal leaving the country for the second time. And he's also the way to start another adventurous journey and that's the second travel abroad and Rizal actually stayed in the country for six months but he failed to visit his girlfriend Leonor Rivera because his her parents are parents actually prevailed uh, Jose Rizal because they don't like him On February 3, 1888, Rizal sailed to Hong Kong on board Zafiro and they short stop in Amoy and he stayed in a Victoria Hotel after arriving there and according to Rizal, Hong Kong was small but clean and during his two week stay in Hong Kong, he studied Chinese life, language and customs. Rizal also visited Nervai City, Macau for two days along with a friend, Jose Marie, Maria Basa. Rizal also experienced some traditions in, and he also watched some dramas in Hong Kong. He first experienced the, some fest there. Rizal in Japan on February 28, 1888, Rizal reached Yokohama, Japan and Tokyo for the, Anna, the next day. Juan Perez Caballero invited Rizal to live in a Spanish legation and that's when the time Rizal, Rizal knew that he is being eyed by the Spanish government. While he was living in Japan, he also realized that there were Filipino entertainers in Japan. They are called as Japayuki or Japayuku. That also at the time he met his sweetheart and tour guide, which is Name as Siko Usui. Rizal also gave her a nickname which is Osi-san. 
she is a 20 years old and he became a sweetheart of Rizal and that will be all thank you